Good evening, good evening. Yes, um, this is John Thomas with Team Win, Team Albany. And I just want to share a few pointers um, tonight uh, because basically I've been getting a lot of interest in what's really going on. People are seeing the pictures, people are seeing the smiles, people are beginning to be exposed to the lifestyle. So uh, basically, <clears throat> first of all, you know, we're all thankful, we're all grateful for what is happening in Albany. And for those of you who are continuously to go out on a daily basis to, you know, kind of find a job or whatever, I pray that you open your eyes to opportunity because opportunity is all around you. You just must have your eyes set for that. <clears throat> Basically, uh, one of the things I want to present tonight, and, is, and I'm going to keep it short and simple, is I think uh, the majority of people still struggle with some of the same problems each and every day. Uh, some may say, you know, it's money, 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 but we understand that life is bigger than that. Uh, but money does rank right up there with oxygen, so we don't want to overlook <clears throat> what the resources allow us to do. So basically, uh, I think for anyone to be able to begin to change, uh, first off, it must change within themselves, uh, meaning their mindset. You must expose yourself to di a different way of thinking, <clears throat> which will bring forth a different way of living. Uh, I'm a product of that, you know. In the past, I've had money. <clears throat> You know, I have had some success in businesses, but the simple thing was I didn't really understand how to retain that wealth or that money. Uh, so basically, I always ended up back in the same situation, continue to have to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. And what I would advise <clears throat> people to do uh, is just like plant a seed. You go out, you plant that seed, you don't you don't immediately reap a reward. You don't immediately harvest a fruit or a vegetable or whatever type of seed you have planted. So what you want to do is take the time and nurture it, meaning continue to build. Build that momentum. Keep growing. Keep going. Because what I have learned is, yes, the person next to you <clears throat> may be looking to travel a little faster than you. They may have a better car, a better house, a better whatever. Come, you know, in your beginning eyesight. Because what you begin to learn is uh, things, uh, their value just is not there as people. You know, I enjoy building people. <clears throat> instead of, I have learned, instead of taking the common car and painting it and fixing up the insides and sitting it on rims, you give me a human being who feels like, you know, they all in, you know, they're back against the wall. Uh, they just can't make it. You give me that, and uh, if they allow me to plant that seed in them, and they nurture that seed and watch it grow, you know, I'm going to get ten times the beauty of what I can get out of that man-made car. Uh, <clears throat> and the only difference is that car can't duplicate another car, you know. Porsches don't create Porsches. People do. So basically, you know, I'm all about building people and allowing them to go back and build other people. So this is the blessing that I've been given. Uh, <clears throat> just this weekend, I was blessed to be able to meet a, a wonderful uh, man who inspired me. And as you can see, the name of the book is The Wealth Choice by Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. And basically, what it's doing is telling you how the common man can become like the successful man. What's the big difference? And as I spoke earlier, it's the mindset. And uh, yes, there's other things that go with that. But basically, once you shift that mindset and position yourself to be in that right position at that right time, you're going to see the difference. Uh, man, life is beginning to be beautiful. I'm beginning to see things from a whole different perspective. And this time, at the top, I'm going to be able to retain my wealth. You know, I'm, I'm going to stay there. You know, I'm not going to do anything to knock me down. You know, I have a four-year-old son. I envision when he get ready to go to college, 
college of choice, you know. I ain't going to be no student loan. Daddy going to pay for that. And the Bible speaks of generational wealth, you know. A lot of parents these days, they're putting it all on their kids to become somebody so they can come back and take care of them. But me, I have chosen for myself. I'm going to bless my son to be wealthy. And I'm going to bless his kids to be wealthy. So after that, all they got to do is grow up, in which I'm going to plant that seed of positivity in him, a positive attitude, you know, not, not complaining, not making excuses, doing what it got to be done. You know, basically doing it and doing it and doing it until the job gets done. So that's my mentality. And anybody want to know a little more, you know, just inbox me. I'm all about building people. That's my main key. I believe <clears throat> we are blessed to be able to relate. I'm blessed to be able to relate basically with almost any situation, you know. And I'm inspired to give back to those who feel like they're less fortunate, like they're underprivileged. I see the value in you. I know what you can do. I, see, I already see the championship. You know, I already see the champion in you. I already see the winner. You know, once I, once I approach you, uh, I already see a destination f uh, that lies ahead of you. That basically greatness. You know, you let's stop limiting ourselves, people. Let's stop limiting our, limiting ourselves. Basically, if you go out and become a nine dollar hour person, don't get mad at your boss man or your manager because he employed you at nine dollar. Those are the standards you set for yourself. I have no limitations. The sky. Beyond the sky is the limit. There's no stopping me, man. I'm gone. Love my family. Love my people. Let's, let's come together and do what we got to do to build each other up. Uh, before I leave, I always got to a, give a shout out to my team who supports me 100%. Team Albany, the Double Diamond Network. We salute. We out.